We've been doing work on the boat all morning, computer work, and the wind's been switching. Start of a cold front coming through. Mild cold front, I think. It's not supposed to honk out of the north like the strong ones do. We've been trapped on the boat all day, and it's time to get to the beach and do some exploring. We're gonna go through a place called Shark Creek. Just kidding, we're going to check out the beach right across the way. Trying to get to the other side of the island over here. We definitely made it to the opposite side of the island. I think we're at the point where we can't just turn around. We gotta see, we go all the way around. And we just came across what I think is a cave. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Good thing we put out the anchor. We are leaving Great Harbor Key and we're headed to Alufra. It's gonna be a full day sail. We're gonna have to anchor um, outside of current cut because we can only get in there at a certain time and that's gonna be at dark, so here we go. We have to watch out for these wrecks getting out of here, and then we're gonna go straight over here. We're sailing, we're on our way to Eleuthera. We have probably 
12 to 14 knots of wind, 15 knots of wind, and we're cruising between eight and nine knots, which is pretty good. We got 45 miles left to go before we get into, uh, not current cut, but another cut before that. We got some lines in the water, and we're just about to enter into some really, really deep water, like from like 85 feet to like thousands of feet deep, um, right about now, so maybe we'll catch something. Yep, my, I'm wearing my lucky fish shirt. I don't know if I have a lucky fish shirt. We got one reef in the mainsail, and probably could have that up fully, but just reefing early just in case. We're fine with one reef in the main and the full Genoa out. Yeah, and then our friend Jeff from Jeff Beach Photography is gonna meet us over in Eleuthera, so that's gonna be super fun. He's a He's an awesome photographer and a kiteboarder and a surfer and a diver and everything. It's gonna be cool to have him on the boat. He's been trying to get over here on a Bahamas trip with us for the past three years. So hopefully third time's a charm. This is the third time, right? Hopefully third time's, third time's a charm. And he already bought his ticket. Um, it's Tuesday today and he's coming in on Friday to North Eleuthera Airport. So hopefully it all works out and he gets over here finally. So it'll be pretty fun. What is it? Dolphin. Dolphin? We need a belt. Are you sure it's a dolphin? Barracuda. Is that? That's not a barracuda, is it? Yeah. Darn, darn it. Are you sure? How is he so deep? We're in like thousands of feet of water right now. It was not a dolphin. It was deep. Things freak me out, man. I hate barracudas. Okay, let him go. Bye -bye. All right, it's around 2:30. We're 10 miles out from that cut. What cut am I talking about? Egg Island Cut. We're about 10 miles out from Egg Island Cut, and as soon as we get through there, we'll be in some pretty protected waters. Um, and then we'll anchor somewhere around there for the night, and then pass through Current Cut tomorrow morning. It says you should go there at slack tide, which is two hours past Nassau high tide. That's gonna be too late in the evening for us uh, tonight, so we're gonna go through tomorrow morning, just cause the current rips through there so hard. Uh, it's been a great sail. The wind lightened up, probably down to like 12 knots, but now we're back up, 14 knots of wind. Our average has been around seven and a half the whole time. Just starting to see some other boats. We got one other sailboat up there. Looks like some sort of uh, either a catamaran or like a race race boat. I saw a trawler go by in front of us and a sport fish passed us behind us a while ago. A few, five miles away still. No fish besides that barracuda. That was the only one. Almost there. Got a fish on. Sierra's trying to hold it. I'm trying to get the sails, or at least the head sail furled in. We don't normally use a winch to do the furling line, but the sheet is on the other side, and I can't can't do both, and I don't want to blow the sheet and have the sail walking away. He's big, huh? Yeah. You think it's a big tuna? I think I've decided we definitely need like a fishing belt. We should get one of those little butt cushions. Yeah. He's strong. Or do you think it's just because we're still moving? Well, oh, cool. Come on, be something we can eat for dinner. Is it a mommy? I don't know. It better not be a barracuda. I see it, it's at the surface. Now what is it? Could this be our first edible catch of the trip?
Good job, Daddy. High five. Paw. Good job. Good job, Miss. Yay. All right, back to sailing. So I got to go to Eleuthera like 10 years ago with my family. Stayed in a super cool house on cliff, got to surf. We went over on like a five seater tiny little plane. It's pretty far out there. Like that's where we hadn't really gone. It's just a cool place and it's a huge island and I think there's gonna be a lot to do. So we're excited and we're super close and we can't wait. about fishing. In order to catch a fish, you have to be the fish. Were you the fish today? <laughs> and I was a whale shark too. But we didn't see one of those. We made it through the cut and now we're on the inside in about 20 feet of water. You can see that water color change from deep dark blue to nice light crystal clear blue. Just sailing over some grass patches, probably some patch reef and stuff and then sand. Cruising along at like eight and a half knots right now just whew, in like perfect flat water, 15 knot breeze. Beautiful. Say hi. Full moon in a couple days, you guys know what that means. What? What does that mean? Oh, we're just cooking up some fresh mahi mahi straight from the ocean. And egg corn squash. And what's this called? Broccoli cauliflower? Brocco Brocco flour. Block Brocco Brocco flour. It's like a it's like a mix between broccoli and cauliflower. Broccoli flower. And it is so nice out right now. Sun's about to set. Look at those clouds. Wow. And it's gonna be the beginning of another little front system coming through the next few days. So it's gonna be moderate east winds tomorrow, a little bit stronger the next day, and then switching pretty pretty strong from the south, and then it'll come from the southwest with some storms, and then it'll come out of the west and then north again. So does that mean we can have waves when it goes west? Yeah, we could have some waves here in Eleuthera. I don't know what a south wind produces, a strong south wind produces here in Eleuthera, but when it goes west or southwest, it should be offshore 
here and we might get some waves to surf. So nice out right now. I just want to give a quick thank you to Raw Elements. You guys know that this is the only sunblock that we use when we're out here sailing all day and kiteboarding and fishing and spear fishing and stuff like that. It's safe for your body, safe for the reef and the environment, um, and it lasts pretty, pretty good in these extreme conditions. So thank you, Raw Elements, and don't forget, if you use code TULA and you order any Raw Elements sunblock, you get 10% off your total order. So thank you so much to them for keeping us protected out here and keeping our environment safe. If you guys like my whale print face shield I was wearing all day, this is from a company called Waterlust. They're really cool. This isn't sponsored or anything, but we like we like what they have. They make like clothing and, and leggings and they use like sea turtle prints and whale shark prints on them. Really high quality stuff. They, they donate a lot of money to like um, environmental organizations and marine conservation organizations, stuff like that, based on the print Sierra says. Don't quote me on that one. They're pretty cool. And they have a sick YouTube channel. It's, their videos are insane, like super high quality, really cool videos, so check them out. They're always in the bottom of every description of our videos, Water Lust. They use their videos and their pictures on Instagram and stuff like that to really like teach people about what's going on in the marine environment and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they're awesome, check them out. I'm exhausted, are you tired? I got to sleep a little bit today. Oh yeah, you gotta take a long nap. J-E-T-T-Y, didn't it? She was all nervous all day long. All right, you guys, we're gonna have some dinner and go to sleep. We're so tired, but we'll see you tomorrow or next time, whatever it is. Later. We should put the, uh, we should have a whole page on our website for recipes that we do. We would cook the fish the same way. <laughs> oh, you guys want some fresh mahi? Here, see how it tastes. Nom, nom.